Hi, have you seen a TED talk by an architect, Mark Kushner, why the buildings of a future will be shaped by you? If you haven't seen it yet, I strongly recommend it. Uh, Mark Kushner is definitely aware of methods of speech delivery and he triggers the best techniques and he turns to be a very pleasant speaker. Uh, it is very interesting for me to see how others do it and I can define um, those techniques that he's using because we are learning about them in this class. Uh, the content of a presentation was relatable um, and I would say interesting um, and I think these topics should be discussed even more. Um, but the most important uh, point that I extracted from his presentation is that um, architects must interest clients in their designs and innovations um, in order to um, get um, their designs built. And, um, and in the same manner, Kushner um, captured his audience by um, uh, telling the story, by organizing very, very well his uh, presentation. Um, so I think um, to start off with his presentation, he chose to uh, tell the story um, from his childhood and it was very familiar, very relatable to every person and personally to me because I was thinking about uh, my house and how it impacted me um, on, on choosing uh, my career and my life goals and um, also he finished off with the same story by making a loop and um, uh, signifying the importance of storytelling, signifying the importance of architecture in our lives. And um, when he created this uh, nice frame, uh, this story at the beginning and at the end, um, in the main part, uh, he had already his audience excited. So they were prepared for some uh, hard content. Um, he used very interesting techniques by um, showing historical patterns. Uh, when he presented a sequence um, of uh, pictures of a different uh, buildings, uh, he, um, he put them on a timeline and let the, um, the audience who's not fully aware about architectural styles or maybe locations or significance of those buildings to understand what was going on in the architecture those past 30 years and how it leads one to another. Uh, the second uh, principle that he used is the uh, redundant uh, plant redundancy. Every time he was uh, coming back to a classical building such as Parthenon that um, people tend to um, associate with a democracy, with a stability and how those symbols influence today's architecture, um, why we always come back to them, how is that uh, different from what he's, he's trying to do and architects trying to do. Um, and the third thing that um, was uh, very successful in his presentation was uh, his voice. He is a um, very uh, energetic attitude towards presentation and towards audience and that made me feel uh, like he really believes in what he's talking. He's very passionate about what he's, what he's talking and I think it's a good way to explain to not only uh, audience there but also to architects that will live in a very special time when uh, we can almost instantly get a feedback about our projects and our work and know uh, how the client, how the public react uh, to everything that we do and say. So, uh, in conclusion, I think uh, Mark Kushner done a great job in this presentation. Um, he's um, he's an excellent speaker and successful. Uh, he introduced the interesting topic and his speech and visual aids were very carefully um, 
laid out in a way that everyone can understand. And in conclusion, I also would want to say that the most captivating part of this presentation was the story. Um, it was at the beginning and at the end, and uh, it just united everything. And even the, the after few days after watching this presentation, I was thinking like uh, how powerful that story is. And um, without that story, probably the content wouldn't be that important to us. Thank you.